This is it. We are off now to go and see Leicester at the Garment Factory and we're going to stop this heist at the FIB Itch building. That's right. To spin the car around here. Traffic in the way once again. There we go. Can't wait to get the show on the road. It's been how many videos now in the making just for this one heist? And it's all going to be in this one video. Right through the double doors we go. Darnell Brothers. Let's go see Lester. Looks like it's going to be evening as well when we see him. Or when we start this up. Just in time for everyone to finish their hey, shifts. Oh, look at this place. How you doing? Ah, pretty good. It's Under completely the empty. About to knock off a federal government building. Oh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So, I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't going to do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. We will have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well, under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. Ah, uh, they're gonna be burning the whole place down. Well, Lester is, with the classic trick of putting paper in the toaster and then walking out. Michael Bay sort of style. But such memories of the garment factory. You know, keep coming here, starting up highs with Lester. It's all coming to a head. Actually, I don't want that on. There we go, that'll do. It's the perfect tune. Baker Street on the way to start this heist. Sort of music Michael would listen to. Oh, Franklin. Mike, we doing this? Yeah, real soon, Frank. Pick up the fire truck and RV with Gus Moda and Daryl Johns. I'll give you word when I'm out of the bureau. I got it, dog. At least we can count on these guys in a pinch. Yeah, I'm just worried a, a bit about um, Daryl, the other guy that I picked before we start this heist. Because his health isn't the best, and I can see him probably dying in this house. Which will probably be the first time, but at least he doesn't take um, that much of a cut. Alright, here we go. So we're all dressed up. We're in our janitor's gear. Gotta go inside the building. Do a bit of mopping here and there. Clean up the dirty floors. It's gonna be a bit ridiculing, but who cares? We're gonna we're gonna be taking them for everything they have. Or just taking the hard drive anyway. Eventually. You knew? Just go through the turnstile. Yeah, that's where I was going anyway. Not yeah, liking the security. The contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. <laughs> you tell him, Michael. You tell him. You go. Get to the elevator, which is right there. So that's the plan. We're gonna. Do a bit of mopping around upstairs, probably on the very top floor, and then we're going to plant the bombs. Oh, nice little camera shot there, Michael. He should be whistling, really. It would fit his character, you know, getting into the janitor's role just perfectly. Oh, look at that, floor 49, and that's probably the uh, the episode number as well, which we're on with GTA. All right, mop and bucket in hand. So where have we got to go? That looks like a server room. But it's not. Right. And we're in. If you guys are wondering where I actually got this pass from, if you didn't see that episode, we followed the janitor that actually came here to all the way back to his apartment. We went in, gave him a bit of a warning, uh, and took his janitor clothes and, and all that. Oh, look at that. And we took his pass as well, obviously. This is pretty cool, in a way. It's dirty. Yeah, of course it's dirty. The mop is dirty. Clean the mop in the bucket. Well, I wasn't going to clean it anywhere else, was I? 
I wasn't going to go take it to the toilets and flush it down there. Oh, Michael's finally whistling. It's about time. <laughs> he needs to whistle. Just fits the role perfectly. Plant the bomb in the locker. Oh, shoot. Locker number three. There you go. I wouldn't leave that open for someone to, you know, someone could easily walk past and see that and think, hmm, what's this? Oh my god, it's a bomb! Everyone out! You know, so maybe you should have shut that. What's this guy doing? Looking for a files? Contractor. At least then I'd be paid well to do menial work. Shut up. Alright, let's mop the floor. Look how many we've got to do, all these splodges on the floor. There's like one, two, th three, four. There's four of them. What has been going on here? Let's go up and do that one. Just gotta line it up. Uh, about there. Dirty Should get it mop. all then. Dirty mop. Dirty mop is dirty. No, didn't want to do that. Accidentally pressed the wrong button. Just making the floor dirty, you know. Perfect. We're gonna do a good job. <laughs> that whistling, though. Brilliant. I'm glad they put that in there actually. It's just perfect. Did I miss a spot? You missed a spot, Michael. Gotta go and clean the mop again. It's a bit slow starting, I will admit, but it'll all kick off eventually. Gotta go and plant the next bomb. Where is this spot? Is it. I'm right on top of it. But I can't see anything that's dirty though. Let's put that down again. Let's give the mop a clean again. Right, so it's about here. Hopefully I get it this time and then we can move on to the next couple of splodges on the floor. And dirty marks. I mean, how did this happen? I mean, it's not raining outside for people to come walking into the building and have wet feet and... I mean, there's no leaves about either. And just look at this. Messy sons of bitches. That's what they are. Right, let's line it up. That should do. Done. Look at that. Perfect job. Just missed a spot there. Maybe it wasn't so perfect. Last clean, and then we could probably plant the next bomb. Which I'm guessing will be in the toilets. Just to the left of us there. One more spot. So you can't get it all though, can you really? Plant the bomb in the restroom. Yeah, thought as much. I'll take my bucket in. Oh, I can't pick it up. Oh, right, okay. Let's go walking in then. I'll go in the men's. That's where we have to go anyway. And of course there's a guy here. All right, all right, I'm leaving. Yeah, you better leave, buddy. Um, wrong cubicle. Next one. That's a bit risky, isn't it? Planting a C4 charge in front of that guy. It wasn't really in front of him, but I mean, all it would have took was him to just turn around and maybe start up a conversation and then see you sticking something behind the toilet. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? You know? Yeah, well, he's done anyway. So that's two bombs down. Take the mop and the bucket back to the closet. Are we done here then? Wow, that was a quick job. Is that all they needed me for? Surely it's the cleanest yeah, job to go through each floor That's of the building budget, to make sure that everything's ready for the next day. Obviously not. Going around in one full circle. There's the maintenance cupboard. <laughs> I think what would have been funnier there is if Michael actually took the mop and bucket into the maintenance cupboard, not giving a crap. Alright, we're done here then. So, ground floor please. Thank you very much. Need some elevator music now. Do 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 do. Right. These seem to be fast elevators as well, which is good stuff. Which they seem to be bringing in in real life as well. They've got quite a lot of those around nowadays. Quick elevators. Almost the speed of light. Right. Is that security guard going to say yeah, anything? Else? Building's closing any second. Oh, it's closing any second. Better get out then. 
All right, we are out of there. Can we start running now? Yes, we can. <laughs> I bet that looks a bit dodgy, though, to the two security guards stood back there looking out the glass. Okay, why is he running away? What's going on here? All right, let's give Franklin a call. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. And here they are. Hey, dog, Fire department the inbound. Got your gear in your hey, look, everybody cool, right? Because once we pick him up, it's all go, all right? In and out, homes. Let's do it. And here he is. He got here quick, didn't he, Michael? Must have run. All right, he's in. Let's go. Detonate the incendiaries, Frank. Oh, shit. Let's detonate. This is it. Use the phone to detonate the C4. Let's pull it up. Contacts. Detonate. Boom, son. Oh, damn. Devastation. Across the nation. That's amazing. Worked out perfectly. It's the perfect plan, this, with the fire engine and everything. First response. Oh, we need to go up there. Just about made that then. So, left to hijack the emergency signal, right? Yep. We'll be the only idiots running into that burning mess. So, don't worry. We must be crazy, Order right? There by the curb. I think what I might do is go back once I've done this and play the mission again, but choose option B with the helicopter by parachuting down just to see what it's like. Have we really got to get back in the fire engine? Come on. Right, let's get in there. The building's on fire. No time to waste. Come on. Fire department coming through. Out the way, people. Come on. Get away from the building. It could collapse any second. Right, we're in. We've not we've got no gear though to actually put the fire out. <laughs> I mean, how obvious could you make it? Let's go. Now we've got to wait for the lift. Look at all let's four go. of us going in. Alright, Lester says these elevators should still be fine. Was he on that industrial strip painkillers or that loose notory weed at the time? Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Do 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 if you remember, it was uh, floor 49. Just follow these suckers. Gustavo and Daryl and Michael, because we're playing as Franklin at the moment. There's 48. 49. Oh, we're going up one more to 50. Number 50. No, we're going up to 51. And we're going up to 52. Oh, I'm feeling a bit sick now. 53. The very top floor. Get to the containment drive. So this is where we would have come in through the parachutes. We would have smashed the glass there. I think. Right. This is the room. What are we doing then, fellas? I've got to go in. <laughs> right, okay. Ooh. Alright, I'll put, um... Plant a charge on that. Sticky bomb. Nope. Done. Now, how to... I've... You know what? I've totally forgot how to detonate again. It was, um... I think... Nope! I didn't want to chuck out that extra sticky bomb. I think it was the left diagonal button. Let's try it. Oh, yes, it was. We're in. Let's get that drive. Come on, Frank. Franklin. Got it. Put that in my back pocket. Save that for later. Follow Michael out of the building. Come on, gentlemen. Shit. This place is coming down. Oh, crap. We need to move. Need to shove a rocket up our ass. Shit. Where are they going? They can move, can't they? No one getting stuck on the door frame. Oh no 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 no! This can't be happening. Oh, 
This cannot be happening. Wait up for me, guys. Door's stuck. I gotta bust it down. Just put a sticky bomb on it. Okay, ready up. Oh, you douche. Forgot about the pressure now, didn't you? Alright, let's go. Come on. Oh, da- No, no, no. Daryl Johns. Daryl Johns is down. Move out of the way, people. Daryl, come on. Shit. Well, Daryl's dead. Didn't see that one coming now, did I? Oh, watch my head. All this mortar and tiles and flooring and all that goodness falling on top of my head. It's not good. Whoa, we can see LS from here. I can see my house from here. Let's go, go, go. Come on, gentlemen. Whoa. Fuck. That's completely wiped Franklin out. Wipe out. And they've run on without me. Assholes. You leave no man behind. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What? What is going on here? Where did this guy come from? Just stomp a mud hole in him. Shit, man, where are these guys coming from? So, there's a guy behind me, he's still alive. I was not expecting that. They stayed late behind the office and they've come up to the top floor to investigate. Yeah, that sounds clever, doesn't it? Jeez, man. There's two more guys coming this way. Oh, guess what? You're dead. You should have gone home. You should have gone home. Man. Uh, at least I'm picking up some free money as well on the way. Alright, is there any more guys around here? Yep. And he's dead. The office was meant to be empty. Shit, man. I really was not expecting that. And there's another guy behind this door now. Let's go. Arr! Sit down. Alright, there's nothing behind there. So Michael and Gustavo should be on this floor now. Pull out the shotgun. Because you don't know what, what's going to be around the corner. Could be a bear for all we know. We finally met up with them. Douchebags. Leaving me behind like that. I could have died back there. Gotta keep pushing on though. Let's climb up the rubble. So it's an up and over sort of thing. Yeah. Back down the other side. Oosh. Got all the expensive equipment going to waste. To the elevator shaft. You seriously, are we going to be taking the lift back down? Acting as though nothing happened. Be nice and casual. Maybe not. Oh, shoot. We are high up here. And we're going down. What is that rope clinging onto? It doesn't look safe at all. Now let's descend. So we can use the... Ah, we can hold square to descend faster. That's a classic shot, isn't it? You'll see all the fire now and everything collapsing. Going slow-mo. Or maybe not. We're almost there. Well, they're there anyway. This place is going to come down big time. It's kind of scary. Let's get out of here. They're not going to be happy because we didn't do a good job up there, did we, these firemen? There's no one up there! Even though I've killed about six guys. <laughs> oh, getting stuck on the stairs. Let's move, let's move. Yeah, we're just going to leave. Our shift's over. You might as well just leave it, guys. There's no point. It, it's going to collapse anyway. Just leave it. Go home. Go to your bed. It, you know, just let, <laughs> just let it go. <laughs> We're off anyway. See you later, folks. 
get to the getaway location. Oh, that's just around the corner. Let's spin this uh, fire truck around. Alright, we're going. Just right, go we home. Leave it alone. At some point soon, an APB will go out looking for firemen. We cannot be playing dress up when that happens. Here we go. We need to get to the ride and torch this fire truck as soon as possible. I'm working on it. Getaway yeah, location dots, is just I here. Don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down. If they knew, who else is gonna know? It ain't worth thinking about, dog. Trust me. I'm gonna get us there as fast as I can. All right, shit. Shit. I just don't want to run into something. Man, y'all don't want to run into Trevor, bro. That's who you don't want to run into. Haha, <laughs> you're right. So, uh, take us to our get out, avoiding the cops, the feds, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? I think Franklin forgot to take off his helmet. <laughs> oh, Michael, get in, buddy. We, we need to get out of here. Sticky bomb on the fire engine. Boom. We're out of here. Take us to Lester's. Awesome. What a great heist. We've still got the uh, the drive as well to take back to Lester's. He's going to be so happy. I didn't think we were going to make it out of there. Uh, one of us didn't. We lost a dude, man. Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> I don't Michael like totally forgot about Daryl. You know what I'm saying? But that dude was in over his head. Yeah, he wasn't top draw, but I thought we could carry him through it. I guess I thought wrong. Did we actually just hear from Gustavo then? He actually spoke up. Well, anyway, we made it out. So we got that to be thankful for. Daryl's people will get his paycheck and the standard expenses. Hey, man, it was our fault Daryl went down. Really? Why's that? Didn't you speak to the guy? Nothing was his fault, so it, uh, it must have been us, right? Ah, uh, <laughs> I'll put it down to bad leadership then. I can tell you that, because the leader was dumb enough to take you in there. True that. All right, here we are. Hey, this Lester's crib, ain't it? It is Lester's crib. Going back to where it all began. Here we go, we'll just park there. Keep your heads down, you hear? See you later, Gustavo. <laughs> well, what? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! <laughs> Fucking A Ray, we did it! Ow. How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility, it was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Give me oh. some of that. Hey. Ow. 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 Oh. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot <laughs> my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Ugh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. Got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <coughs> man, that's some foul ass shit! Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I got to go square things up with Davy and Dick uh, For serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I got to do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. That's an awesome feeling. <laughs> and Franklin kind of looked like one of the village people <laughs> with that helmet on. Brilliant. So there's the FIB budget, 331 grand. We got a trophy for that. Michael's cut, zero. Franklin's cut, 215 grand. Lester's cut, 39 grand. Not too bad. It was the perfect mission. And unfortunately, it feels as though we're getting closer and closer to the ending of GTA 5. Michael's calling Dave. Let's listen in. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. 
I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center.